Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. I want to share a vision I had a couple of days ago and a word that was given to me by the Holy Spirit. And then also a dream that I had this morning. So the dream I had a couple of days ago, I was, I feel like I was either standing on top of my house. I live in a two-story house. Um, I was either standing, but I think the aerial view was a lot higher because I can see the rooftops of um, many houses in the city that I live in. And um, I remember seeing like um, darkness. It was like darkness coming from my right and it was just moving quickly, moving quickly towards the left over the houses and everything. It was just getting pitch black. And then I looked to the left of me in the sky and I saw this huge orange blood moon. So that was the end of the vision. It was just short and sweet. So then I received a message from the Holy Spirit. And, you know, this is important. I don't know what goes on in depth on YouTube. I just hear from, you know, a few videos, you know, that I watch, you know, that there's like riff going back and forth. And, you know, come on, guys, you know, we're too late in the game for this kind of stuff to continue to go on. You know, Jesus is coming and, you know, you don't want to mess up and get yourselves left behind. So the Holy Spirit, um, gave me this message. The Holy Spirit was saying, so bear with me, you know, because I don't have my notes in front of me. So I'm just saying it off the top of my head, you know, because I remember, I remember. So the Holy Spirit is saying, we are all in this race together. That the purpose of this race is to get to Christ. that this is not a contest. This is not a contest. We should be up, uplifting one another, genuinely uplifting one another. We should not be throwing rocks and boulders at the feet of our brothers and sisters. The Holy Spirit also said that the problem with the body of Christ is that there is the demonic spirit of contempt, the demonic spirit of jealousy, the demonic spirit of envy, the demonic spirit of pride. So this is coming from the Holy Spirit. So like I said, you know, we're too late in this game, you know, to be doing this, to carry, you know, to keep carrying on with this nonsense, you know, we're supposed to have love for one another, you know, and that's all I want to say about that. I just wanted you to um, receive the message that was given to me by the Holy Spirit. And I hope many people, whoever is out there doing this or have this in your spirit, you know, sometimes you may not think that you have these things in you, but, um, you know, search your heart. You need to search your heart and, you know, get this right because God is, you know, he's on his way. Jesus is on his way. And and one thing also the Holy Spirit did say is that you, you know that you can't enter heaven. You cannot come to heaven with this in you. So you have to get this out of you. You have to ask Jesus to remove that demonic spirit, those demonic spirits from within you so that you can be spotless without spot nor wrinkle. Okay, so moving on. Um, the dream I had this morning, of all people, not of all people, sorry, Paul, if you happen to watch this video, I don't mean it like that, but um, in my video, in my video, in my dream, um, we were all gathered at Paul Begley's house. So it was a bunch of people, many of whom I communicate with on YouTube. 
we were all at Paul Bagley's house and we were waiting for that midnight hour. You know, I remember feeling this and knowing that we were waiting for the midnight hour, that we were waiting for the rapture to occur. And everyone was on their, you know, they were on their tablets, on their phones. And what I was able to see also in spirit is that people were posting um, scripture on uh, Twitter, uh, Facebook, you know, um, it was like last messages. And there were many people who were texting their family members. And what I felt and what I saw uh, was that many people were trying to convince, you know, others to give their life to Christ, you know, um, to repent. And, um, also, you know, um, saying goodbye to their family members. I remember um, many people writing letters and I myself um, was sitting down at a table and I was trying to write a letter to my mother and I couldn't even get past the first sentence. It was just very emotional. It was, it was, a, it was a bittersweet moment, you know, for everyone. That was the mood. You know, we were happy, but yet there was a little sadness because of our loved ones, because we were saying goodbye to our loved ones. And I remember thinking to myself, how am I going to say goodbye to my mother? How can I say goodbye to my mother? And, you know, some people may say, well, you just say goodbye, you know, but, you know, we know that it, it's just, it's not easy. It's, it's not going to be easy. You know, um, throughout this journey, it's been really hard for many of us, you know, to, you know, hear the rejection coming from people we love, you know, trying to convince them that Jesus is coming. So, you know, that was the mood. And um, I remember speaking to this guy and for some reason I thought he was Paul Bagley, but I don't know. I feel like it was an angel because he was extremely tall. Like I'm tall, I'm 5'11". So I'm looking up at him and it's like, I had to lean my head, you know, back very far. Like it hurt my neck to look up at him. That's how tall he was. And, you know, I was talking to him. I can't remember exactly what I was saying to him, but I was talking to him. And I remember asking someone else, you know, like, what do I do? Like, how am I going to you know, say goodbye to my mother. And, you know, they were trying to figure out their own, you know, you know, how they were going to say goodbye to their loved ones as well. So I said, okay, this is what I'm going to say, you know, and it's, it's odd what I said, but this is what I texted. I said, yay. I said, yay. The rapture is about to happen. And I sent the message and I woke up. So I'm not saying that the rapture is going to happen right now, but this is what was given to me. This is what was revealed to me in my dream. And we all know that Jesus is close. We all know that he's about to snatch us up out of here. So the only thing I can say, you know, and we all know that we need to be ready. We need to be ready. Um, the last video I made when he told me, be ye ready. Oh, you know what? As a matter of fact, he did not, I did not make a video of that, but he did give me a message because it confirmed another um, sister in Christ, you know, her video. The Lord told me, be ye ready. So he is about to come and get us. And so please, brothers and sisters, you know, and anyone that's watching that does not have or have not accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, I'm begging you, I am begging you with all my heart and all my soul, please, please, he forgives all things. He will forgive you no matter what. There is nothing too dirty, too... um 
disgusting, whatever, just whatever it is, whatever um, shame you are feeling about, you know, how you're living your life or how you lived your life. Jesus does not care. All that he cares about is that you are turning away from that sin. So please give your life to Jesus Christ today. Please, not a, not a moment later, please, I beg of you, I beg of you, um, because time is short. It is so short. So um, I love you all, and I thank you for um, watching my video. Be blessed. Continue to pray for one another. Continue to pray for me. As always, I have you all in my prayers. I love you all. I love you all, and I will see you all soon. I will see you all soon, and I pray that we all be counted worthy.